That was a very real representation of how my mind works. I've got a better way to explain it, but I have to go and get something for it. So let's go do that. See, I know you know there was a difference in time between the last clip and now, but I had to go and get this pen. <laughs> so this is a neurotypical person's brain, right? You have the idea, you start working on the idea. For someone who's neurodivergent, this is what I've been explained it as. They have all these ideas and they're all fighting to try and get out the bottom to try and be done at the same time. So I'm trying to find a system so that when I want to select this idea, are you gonna stay down? Why is it bent as well? I literally bought one that doesn't work. Come on, I'm gonna hold it down. <laughs> I need a system that allows me to filter out just one idea and work on that one at a time without thinking about all these others fighting for priority. So let's go see if we can make something to make it happen. Okay, cool, thanks. For the whole of today? Third, okay, all right, thanks. Well, that's a good start. We've got another one 10 minutes down the road, so on we go. Got a basket, <laughs> good start. Okay, what am I looking for? Okay, get some foam mounting squares, some magnetic clips, and colored index cards. Don't get the plain ones, get colored. And get yourself a thick tipped Sharpie, so that's fine point. Fine, okay, just get a whiteboard marker. Some googly eyes if you're feeling fancy, and some Mike and Ikes to tell yourself you're a good boy. All right, side note, this is the best place to come for cards as well, because they're like a fifth of the price, and they're all Hallmark cards. So I need a birthday one for my mum and dad. Gotta be funny though. I actually really like this one. Don't worry about being another year older. Do you hear anybody kidding about your age? Of course not. Have you heard any Snyder insulting jokes about getting on in the years or being over the hill? Certainly not. But then, hearing is usually the first to go. <laughs> I like that. Corny. Step one is to open up your sweets on the way home. And get some blue ones out. Step two, unpack. Obviously. Out of here. Now when you see this, you're gonna be like, you could have just used post-it notes. And yeah, I have used post-it notes before, but I want something more physical to play around with. Step three is a mounting square on the back of each of these. Come on. I know I'm perfect, but these don't need to be perfect. Grab one of each color. And this is where you set how much you're gonna get done in a day. We call this work in progress or limiting whip. So I'm gonna do three. I'm gonna set red as my top priority for each day. Blue as my secondary priority and green is my last priority. Now your first thought might be, have them somewhere nice and close to your desk so that you can rip it off when you're done. No, get it away from your desk. So you have to actually get up. So instead of being there, I'm going across this wall here next to the ant farms and just stick them up. I forgot what I set as the priority now. Get your thick pen, your thick boy. That's a real thick boy, that one. We've got one more very important step after this, but for now, write in your priorities and I can't write while I talk. So when you're finished with task number one, one-handed is not easy. At least that's what I hope is gonna work for me. <laughs> I don't know about you, but when I go to Walmart or Target, I just can't help myself but go to the clearance section every single time. So I found this toothbrush, charcoal infused. I'm not really sure what that means, but bloody hell. Oh look, I got the soft kind because I'm a bit of a softy. Is that come off? Look at the flex on that. Ooh. Dash of Arm & Hammer Advanced White. Now I've recently been trying out this natural toothbrush called a miswak stick, but I also ended up offending the whole Muslim community. By accident, okay? So should my teeth be getting black from charcoal? This feels bloody huge in my mouth. Here's, here's the toothbrush I've been using. Look at the state of that head. Gotta set your two minute timer. This has stopped the toothpaste from foaming properly. Or at least like it normally does. <laughs> My lip is getting caught around that. So it's going... I saw this other toothbrush the other day from Oral-B. It's a $600 
AI powered toothbrush. Would I ever buy that at this point in life? Absolutely not. Would I like to try it? Absolutely. So it was 9.29 and then I bought it at 4.64. What is that as a percentage? Let me give it a scrub on the tongue. Siri, if the original price was $9.29, what was the reduction as a percentage? It was a 50.0538% decrease. First thoughts? Quite nice, but I was expecting my teeth to be black with charcoal. So I don't really know what's charcoal infused. I think my wife's seen better days as well, so <laughs> let's give her this one. I fasted for 24 hours to see if a natural toothbrush could really clean your teeth. All really just out of interest for seeing if a stick could clean my teeth. So when I first got this Mizwak stick, I tried it as a toothbrush, which was my first problem. Not only did I think the taste was gross, but it was also gross to brush out food with a stick that you then put in water and use again. But it actually turns out that Muslims use this a lot during Ramadan, so while they're fasting and not eating. So I used it five times a day while fasting. But because it's like a stick, like a stick from a tree, you have to soak it in water each time so that the bristles soften up. And after each flipping time, I kept leaving it in the water so the bristles just got ridiculously soft. And then throughout the day, I was just spitting out bits of wood that I was finding between my teeth. And while I didn't feel like it kept my mouth fresh, the Listerine test actually showed that it really did clean my teeth. So we know I put that one up as a joke, right? But for like the purposes of the video, just rounding out the story. Pfft. See you tomorrow.